The Hufford Video Clinometer, created by Sean Hufford. The video clinometer is an interesting take on how we can measure the heights of objects using an inexpensive video camera. And it can be used to measure the angle of elevation of anything in the sky. The sun, the moon, the stars, planets, just about anything. All you need is an inexpensive video camera with an integrated video screen such as an inexpensive handy cam or a flip cam. The ingredients that you'll need are double-sided sticky dots, a plastic protractor, some string, some thread, and a weight. Also scotch tape. Supplies. First you're gonna need the camera, a protractor, some double-sided adhesive tabs, and some string along with something to use as a target to calibrate it. Now if you got one of these nice flip cameras where you can actually flip the monitor, it makes it a whole lot easier. I'll show you how in a minute. Preparing the protractor and your camera. The protractor that you'll want to have needs to have a hole because you want to run a piece of thread through the hole and then tape it onto the back. This is important because you want the thread to swing freely but you want the thread to always be centered on that hole. So I would not advise tying a knot um, around the protractor because then the thread is not gonna, it's not gonna hang perfectly from the vertex. You want the thread to hang perfectly from the vertex, so the best way to do that is to run it through the back. Then what you'll do is you take your, your either flip cam or handy cam, and you'll tape a piece of thread to the midline of the frame. This will be your aiming uh, line. Then you'll flip the, the screen shut if, uh, if your camera does such a thing. And then you're going to lay your camera on the floor. And on the far wall, you place a target. Could be a sticker, could be a dot, some sort. And then you're going to run a thread or a string from this target to, you know, you could tie it onto a can of beans or something like that. And uh, Sean's going to tell you how to calibrate it. Calibrating and mounting the protractor. As you can see, I taped the target on the baseboard and I put the camera on the floor on its side. And I have the target centered in the frame from top to bottom, exactly oriented like this. And with a string, since it's attached to the center of the target, and I know that the center line of my camera is along this tube. As long as I put the protractor, now as long as the protractor is lined up with the center of that hole and the string going across the 90 degree mark, that is actually centered in the camera to where down is now zero degrees elevation. So what I'm going to do is double sided sticky tape the protractor in this orientation on the back of the camera on the opposite side from the handles, in the zoom function, and it's out of the way of the screen. Mounting the plumb bob. Now before we assemble everything, we need to use something as a plumb. In this case, you want to use something that's heavy enough to pull the string taut, but you don't want something that's too heavy to pull it apart. Using the clonometer. Now, once you have everything fully assembled, you have a protractor on the side of a camera that will actually tell what angle you're tilting it at on a tripod. With the plumb hanging way down there. It's spinning right now, you have to give it about three or four minutes to settle down. But the point is, as you angle this up, you'll be able to look at the side of the camera and actually get your reading once the plumb settles. 